what's up everybody it's nerp here and so this is my pov of the all-stars esl growth tournament and i did not do too well by just looking at the time of this video um so in the order one i lost in the semifinals in the decay one i lost in the semifinals in the energy one i lost in the quarterfinals and this one i lost in the quarterfinals as well but this one was worse than the energy one because I actually did not win a single match. Uh, for some reason, um, there weren't that many players in this one. So the top uh, two seeded players, which was me and Blinky, got a bye into the quarterfinals. So I just immediately lost in the quarterfinals. Um, I lost, it was a best of three and I lost both matches. I faced Squiddy. Squiddy, Squiddy beat, won his uh, round of 16 match. And um, as you can see, in the growth versus growth matchups, first turn Van was a, it's a huge factor. So he got first turn in this match. And I think I, I was I played well after that. I think I had uh, decent draws, but he had good draws as well. And he just won. He had the middle idol, and um, I don't think I made any glare mistakes in this match. In the next match, I think I did make a big mistake, and I may have I, I might have been able to force a game three, but who knows if I would have won that. But um, so I got two owed, and as I played an aggro growth deck with two frost scales and a and one quake. Um, I figured that I don't want to have too many of the quakes because the taxing really hurts and I wanted to be more aggro but um, I think the deck was fine. Uh, one time a frost scale helped me. Um, I think the deck was definitely pretty solid. I just think and I got pretty decent draws both both games. Um, it's just that this game he got first turn advantage and had control of the middle idle and I couldn't really do much to him. Because he had these one countdown units in the middle row that I couldn't really move up and try to kill him. And uh, there wasn't much I could do about that. And um, the second match, you'll see what happened there. I, I messed up a little bit. But uh, yeah, so hopefully next week I can do better in the last All-Stars thing, which is the Highlander Cup. Um, right now, I have amassed 10 total points for the All-Stars tournaments which is good enough to put me in the top four, or at least tied in the top four. And I want to end up in the top four to get the Avatar Red. So I'll have to uh, do better than some people in the uh, Highlander Cup to get that head. So hopefully I have a good week next week. And see here, I'm just like, I think I have good scrolls in my hand. I have a veteran and stuff like that, but I can't really move up because he has a three attack brave and a two attack uh, ranger just going off every turn. And he's going to have middle idol, and that's going to really hurt me. So I'm not really sure what to do here. I think I made the correct play, though, just hoping he doesn't have a veteran. I'll just put a stack card on you and put a brave up there. Hopefully I can come in at him on both sides because he took middle idol. And um, as you know, it's not going to it's not gonna go too well. Uh, I'm, at this point, I just have to... I don't have any rumbles in my deck. I, I, took, out a I took out the rumbles for... Um, or what's it called? Or no, no, no. I took no. I kept rumbles. I took out a. Uh, what did I take out? So I have no wolves in the deck besides Ragged Wolf. I knew he had Great Wolves, and maybe I should have put in Great Wolves. I don't know. They're pretty. They're pretty decent in growth versus growth. But I want to be more aggressive. See, I can't. I can't move up right now, and I'm hitting like nothing. I. I have no choice really to move up and put a veteran there, and just hope. Hope that he doesn't have a Ragged Wolf or a veteran, so he can kill my Wild Link. And my, uh, so I'm kind of stuck. I'm very stuck. Because now he attacks. It looks good on the board right now that I might be able to come out because they're good creatures, but he has those three guys attacking. He's destroyed middle idol. Um, I'm thinking maybe I could sneak in a win if, uh, leaves and leaves idols open. I have a rat king for good protection. Spam some rats. Um, I'm just hoping that he doesn't have a ragged wolf, crimson bull, a veteran, something to kill that guy in the back. And he did have a veteran. Um, so, I kind of sucked. So there goes my wildling. And now I'm like, what can I do to win this game? Uh, I guess, I, I was thinking I just have to protect that brave and just let it attack every turn. So, but then I draw a frost scale, and I'm saying this could actually help because he's a lot more units than me. So I sacrifice the rack and I get a ragable. So that was a pretty good draw. Frost scale ragable will let me kill his brave, and I get to keep my brave. So now, after I do that, I'm thinking, I'm back in this game. I can I can possibly win this game, if, and I think it's like a very 
like close match now because now you look at the board states and they're pretty close and um yeah and we both destroyed an idol so now it's like really really into the crunch time of the game um that, that frost scale really helped me out there and let's see so what did squiddy do here squiddy had uh oh yeah the reason i not speeding up these matches because there's only it was very i only played two two matches so i didn't need to i didn't feel the need to speed it up so he gets the great wolf down i'm thinking okay i have to win this fast because that great wolf's gonna kill me so i do have another stag heart which is awesome and looking looking back here i probably should have stag hearted the brave so it's double stag hearted and then and then played uh the ranger or or better so that was a little mistake of me in this match because what i did by what i did was i didn't use the stag heart this turn and i just played the ranger and the uh Ranger and the Vetter for protection up there. What well, should have done, I should have just gone with no protection up there and hope he did, wasn't able to win the game. I don't think there would be a way for him to win the game anyways. Because now what I did here, by not double stag carding the Brave, the Brave dies to a Quake. And I'm sure he's, I, I, as soon as I did that turn, I was like, oh no, he can Quake now. And I will, if, I, if he Quakes here, I'm, I lost the game. Like there's no way I'm coming back with the Quakes right now. So uh, after she did that Quake, I'm just like, okay. Well, now I'm kind of done. And then I try to top deck something. Maybe I can come back. And it's an Oak Blood. Uh, sacrifice the Stag Heart because Oak Blood's pretty good in this matchup. Uh, great health. So, um, but then I don't get a creature. So it's kind of like, okay, there's nothing I could do. I just, the only play I could do is Oak Blood my Ranger and just hope he can't win. But there's like almost any, like Crimson Bulls, uh, veterans anything wins him so he got the he had double crimson so i was dead even if i've had like a unit to go up there most likely and that was that was that game so best of three in the quarter so i knew i had a chance if i won these next two matches so let's see is the second match coming up really soon the second match i did get to go first which is which is amazing um very important in growth for growth versus growth and uh, I was very happy to do that, but somehow I still managed to lose. You'll see how that happened. I did make a mistake or two. Um, so here we go. Uh, decent starting hand, uh, so I think I keep, kept this. I'm, I want to almost keep the Ragged Wolf Staggard so I can kill his like, Brave he puts out or something. But I elect to sacrifice the Ragged Wolf. Maybe I, I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have sacrificed like something. So I'm not sure because I want to keep all those other scrolls. Um... So it would have been a tough sacrifice. I wanted the two jar. Probably the ventral butter there's the least least valuable scroll, but I really wanted to put some down turn two. So uh, I may have clung to that ventral butter a little too hard. But I went first, so and I was able to take the middle row, which was very important. And there I top deck a wildling, so that's awesome as well. And here I think I sacrificed the stacker. So now I'm looking at my hand, it's very good. I have I can go wildling, earthworm mystic, kinfolk veteran. Um I think I can win this game. And uh, he gets a Brave down. I'm surprised he didn't put it right in the middle so he can kill that thing next turn. Um, I get a Quake, but I don't think I'll be using it because I have all these great scrolls in hand. So I decided to pass it up. And I think, I'm think i thinking I'm in a good spot. I have a Wildling and a Vetter there, and he's a Brave up top. And if I can get Middle Idol down, then I can kind of do what he did last game. And uh, he gets his own Mystic, so that's pretty, pretty strong. And um, but I'm not worried because I have a Mystic. I can play my own. And... What I really should have done here, I probably should have sacked that veteran for scrolls. Instead, I sacrificed it for resources, thinking I could play the veteran next turn. But what I forgot about is the ventral veteran uh, attacks the idol, so I would have had five resources if I wanted to sacrifice for resources next turn anyways. So probably would have been better to sacrifice for scrolls there. These little mistakes really come back to bite me. Um, but then again, it's like the... It was just, it's just two matches lost, so I don't think, like, I played overly bad. It's just, it's just a little bump. I didn't play that well, but the first match, I don't think I made as many mistakes as this match. So he has top row. I'm thinking it's okay. I can survive down here, and but I didn't get a good, I didn't uh, top deck well there. See, if I sacrifice scrolls last round, I have another chance to sacrifice a scroll. I don't want a veteran because I don't even kill anything and the veteran just die. So I just go with the Kinfolk Ranger and do nothing else. No point in uh, 
Frost Gale because, well, I have, because, uh, I have a one health creature, and he doesn't, and, um, now I could play a veteran next turn, but he'll probably have a, something in front with four health, and he gets an Alon Vital, interesting, uh, interesting scroll he played, uh, I don't really see the need for Alon Vital and Oak Blood, the double magic armor, but I could see it being useful. So now he's still up there, so I'm not too worried. And now I think I have a nice. Then I draw the Oak Blood. I like Oak Blood a lot, and I can put that on the Wildling. So now I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna win this game. I got the first Oak Blood Wildling. This is awesome. So at this point, the and, I'm, and, I'm, and I took down Middle Idol here. So you're probably thinking, what did I do to lose this game? <laughs> well, I somehow managed to lose. Um, so I take down Middle Idol. And draw another enchantment. And do I have the scroll advantage? I have the scroll advantage. I have the uh, same. I have less resources than him. But I have the scroll advantage. And I have the board state because of that 8 health wildling that's going to gain the attack every turn. He, he comes down now. And um, that is a little scary. So I don't want any part of those three attacking units I don't want to tee them I, don't, I just want to run away and like hide in a hole so I, I think I can win this game before him because of those two idols down there and I'm going to attack with a stag cart too so I'm thinking this is great this is really 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 great and you'll see what happens next um, I put down earthworm mystic and probably stag cart on the uh, on the ranger just for more attack but what I what I did, I, I see a 10 health idol there. I'm thinking, oh, he can't win this next turn. But then, but then, it's really bad because I didn't really think this through. And then I look up and look at all the attack he has. That that brave has five attack. That thing has four attack, two attack, two attack. I'm like, oh no, he wins with like a, he wins with a veteran or a crimson bull. And I'm just like, I'm, pr I'm hoping that he doesn't have it. Because if he doesn't have that, I think I can win, like, the next turn or two. Um, I definitely should have put uh, the Mystic uh, on the higher row, but he had the Crimson Bull. So, I mean, I guess I deserved the loss if I made a big mistake like that. But um, but then then again, the Growth Mirror is a lot about uh, just your draws. Actually, any mirrors like that. Um, but that was that, and I hope i do better next week so stay tuned for tomorrow's video and subscribe like all that fun stuff and good bye